This is Hanif Wong with Oris, and we're going to show you our latest X7 gaming laptop. Uh, so let's just get started right away. So this here is the X7 GTX SLI gaming laptop. It is the world's first thinnest and the lightest GTX SLI gaming laptop. So you can see here this uh, body is completely aluminum and it's really thin. It's actually 22.9 millimeters thin and it's really light. It's only 2.9 kilograms for a 17 inch laptop. Uh, I did mention it does have dual graphics. So that's what makes this really fantastic in itself. There's nothing like it in the market right now or even in the industry. Um, this thin it has never been done before. So the, which is why we are really excited to be here at CES and show you guys our latest X7. Um, so let's just look at the screen for now. The screen is a 17.3 inch screen. It's actually really bright. It's a 300 nits brightness and it's got really fast response rate of eight uh, milliseconds, so which is pretty fast. And of course, if you like, uh, it, it's really colorful in the sense that it's got a 72% uh, NTSC color gamut. So it's gonna look really great when you're playing games or like uh, if you wanted to check out videos in Photoshop and stuff like that. In addition, we also have a um, um, touchpad. It's actually made out of glass. So it actually feels really cool when you're actually using this, uh, uh, the mouse or anything of that sort. Also, uh, what's special about this laptop specifically here is actually the G, uh, the macro hub, also known as the G keys. Uh, it's all the way on the left over here. And you can see that it's got five different color profiles. Um, each color code uh, denotes a certain profile, which actually you can set it up according to what you like um, uh, under the macro hub setting, which is available on the desktop again. So once you get into the macro hub setting, you can actually uh, choose what you'd like to have under each uh, profile. So let me just get that up. All right, here we are. So as you can see here, these are all empty right now. Um, well, let's just try to see what kind of shortcuts we have available. These are already set up by uh, Aura's team. There's some pretty simple uh, shortcuts over here, as you can see here. And under macros, this is, this is where it gets really interesting. There's a, there are so many things you can do with this. I mean, if, you, if, this, if you're like 100% gamer, because this is meant for gaming people, I mean, you can do keyboard macros, you can do keyboard and mouse, you can actually even set delay time or not, you know, uh, fixed time. You can also even change it to execute it once or to loop um, the, the, the macro key. In addition, you can also actually set a design, like whether you, what kind of logos you'd like to have according to what kind of macros you have. You can import your macro, you can export your macro. And there's, there are many things you could do with these things. And this is, this is uh, really excellent stuff. And that's special about the Aorus 7. In addition, we also have something called the Command and Control, also known as CNC or C2, whatever you prefer to say. Now, this is really unique in the sense that it gives you one-click settings to a lot of functions. The highlight of this one here, I'd say, is uh, the uh, SLI setting to straight to the NVIDIA control panel. So let's say uh, you're using SLI and then maybe you unplug it and you have to use the battery. At that time, we recommend, of course, uh, turning off the SLI. So you just go back over to the NVIDIA control panel and turn off the SLI. So you're just using one graphics card power and hopefully you, know, you get more battery power on this uh, machine. In addition to that, there's also uh, the fan setting, of course. Uh, there are three different fan settings. You have Stealth, Auto, and Turbo, uh, which uh, we will demo in a few seconds and show you what it sounds like when you're using those uh, machines. So they, I'm not sure if you can hear that. That's the Turbo Fan mode right now. I'll just back to Auto for now and just... All right. So let's see. Now let's look at the ports. Um, I mean, in terms of ports, it's really exciting to see like almost everything available on this machine. You got your killer LAN, you got your HDMI and VGA, USB 3.0, microphone and audio. Um, and then over on the other side, you have a 9.1 card reader, two USB 3.0s, one HDMI, another mini display port. And at the way at the back, you actually get to see two USB 2.0s. So there's a lot of ports available on this machine. Uh, we specifically made the two ports at the back because we know a lot of gamers prefer to have their ports at the back to connect their mice or keyboard. So let me just tell you about the, the keyboard is also anti-ghost. And of course, you can always have NVIDIA surround 
on through our laptop. Also, it also outputs 4K, so that is something that is unique to our laptop. And that is all about the Aorus X7 gaming laptop. This is Henny from CES 2014.